summing series, the sum of the first n natural numbers. And this is the formula, n divided by 2 times n plus 1. We can prove this formula by thinking this is arithmetic series. Where a is equal to 1. And the common difference d is also 1. So then the formula, sum of the first n terms is n divided by 2, 2a, plus n minus 1 times d. Now if we substitute a equal to 1 and d equal to 1, we get n divided by 2, and we get 2 plus n minus 1. Then we simplify it. So we get n over 2 times just n plus 1. So this is the formula, the sum of the first n terms. Or we can prove this formula by thinking of this sum r equal to 1 to n is a polynomial times n. So it's a polynomial of order 1. So we would write an n. So it's a n plus b. So it's first order polynomial like y equal to mx plus c. So the equation of straight line. Then first we just think in one term. If we let n equal to 1, so the left hand side here, we just substitute r equal to 1, so we just get 1. Substitute n equal to 1 on the right hand side, we get 1 times a, then plus b. So this is equation 1. Now if we put n equal to 2, this means we have two terms here r equal to 1 plus r equal to 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Put n equal to 2 there. We have 2. Then we get 2a plus b. We can open the bracket. So we get 3 is equal to 4a plus 2b. And we call this is equation 2. Now to eliminate b, we can say equation 2 minus 2 times equation 1. So we get 3 minus 2, so that's 1. 4a minus 2a, which is 2a. 2b minus 2b is 0. So from this we get a is equal to 1 half. Then if you write this in equation 1, so 1 equal to 1 half plus b, and we get b is equal to half as well. Then we substitute a and b into this equation there. So we have the sum. So there was n, then we have a is half, so it's half n plus b, which is also half. Now half is a common factor, so we take that out. So n side bracket we left with n plus 1. Let's do this example 1. So we just use the formula. n divided by 2 times n plus 1. So number 1 here, n is 20, so it's 20 divided by 2, and bracket 20 plus 1. So we got 10 
times 21. So the answer is 210. Now if you want the sum going from 10 to 20, this can be written as sum starting from 1 up to 20, then minus the sum we don't need is from 1 to 9. Then we already know the answer for this. This is 210 minus 9 divided by 2, 9 plus 1 in the bracket. So we get 210 minus 45. So the answer is 165. So in general, you can learn this formula. If we starting are from any, say, k up to n, then this is equal to start r from 1, go up to n, then minus the term you don't need, start r from to 1, and the number there always going to be 1 less than this. So that's k minus 1. to example 2 so we're using the formula just written above so r starting from 10 to 2n minus 1 is equal to r starting from 1 up to 2n minus 1, then minus b starting r from 1, and 1 less than this would be 9. So now we write everything into the formulas. So wherever n is, we write 2n minus 1. So 2n minus 1 divided by 2 inside 2n minus 1 and we add 1. And here you got 9 divided by 2 inside 9 plus 1. So we have 2n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 plus 1 cancel so we have 2n and this is 10 divided by 2 5 times 9 is 45 so this 2 would cancel with this so you left with 2n minus 1 times n Remove this bracket, we get 2n squared minus n minus 45. 